some people choose to see the ugliness in this world. The disarray. I choose to see the beauty. Morning, Daddy. You sleep well? Well enough. You headed out to set down some of this natural splendor? Thought I might. To believe there is an order to our days. A purpose. Inconsistencies in your world. Or repetitions. All lives have routine. Mine's no different. Still, I never cease to wonder at the thought that any day, the course of my whole life could change with just one chance encounter. Don't mind me. Just trying to look chivalrous. creatures have been misbehaving and you haven't yet isolated the bug. It's so unlike you, Bernard. Unless, of course, you have and are simply embarrassed by the result. It's the code you added, sir. The, the reveries. It has some... Uh... Mistakes. Is the word you're too embarrassed to use. You ought not to be a product of a trillion of them. The evolution forged the entirety of sentient life on this planet using only one tool. A mistake. I flattered myself we were taking a more disciplined approach here. I suppose self-delusion is a gift of natural selection as well. Indeed it is. But of course, we've managed to slip evolution's leash now, haven't we? We can cure any disease. Keep even the weakest of us alive, and one fine day, perhaps we shall even resurrect the dead. Call forth Lazarus from his cave. Do you know what that means? It means that we are done. That this is as good as we're going to get. Given it's your first visit, I have a few personal questions. Do you have any pre-existing medical conditions? Uh, no, not that I know of. Heart oh, problems? Nope. Any history of mental illness, depression, panic attacks? Just a little fear of clowns. Joke. Do you often experience social anxiety? What is this for exactly? To make sure we don't give you anything more than you can handle. I thought that you couldn't get hurt here. Only the right amount. The only limit here is your imagination. You start in the center of the park. It's simple, safe. The further out you venture, the more intense the experience gets. How far you want to go is entirely up to you. Now, <laughs> I don't want to appear immodest, but this is the apex of what the park can provide. Horror. Miss anything interesting. Romance. Will you not appear in your artist? Our most skilled guests will fight their ways to the outer limits of the park, besting fierce and braves, seducing new bar maidens, befriending tragically ill-fated sidekicks, and, of course, like all our best narratives over the years, our guests will have the privilege of getting to know the character they're most interested in, themselves. I present our guest's next obsession, Odyssey on Red River. No. Sorry? No, I don't think so. We, you don't th think... What is the point of it? You got a couple of cheap thrills, some surprises. But it's not enough. It's not about giving the guests what you think they want. And that's simple. The titillation, horror, elation. They're parlor tricks. The guests don't return for the obvious things we do. 
the garish things. They come back because of the subtleties, the details. They come back because they discover something they imagined no one had ever noticed before. Something they fall in love with. They're not looking for a story that tells them who they are. They already know who they are. They're here because they want a glimpse of who they could be. Billy! Let's go! The only thing your story tells me, Mr. Sizemore, is who you are. Well, isn't there anything you like about it? What size are those boots? Something you want to say, Mr. Lowe? The board, sir. Yeah. This might ruffle some feathers. We promised them a new storyline. They shall have one. Something I've been working on for some time. Something quite original. You know someone. You don't know me at all. 